Two Harvard students have created something that has never been done before, and now they're ready to pitch it to the entire world. It started as a class project, and now this idea will make bakers out of anyone as long as you can use a microwave. John McCallum and Brooke Nikowski are cooking up a quick treat. It really looks exactly like a you know, fresh baked cake. I'm going to prepare a cake before you can skip this ad. It's a creation that is as unique as its advertising campaign. <laughs> Honestly, we were kind of shocked that it hadn't been done before. In the process of getting the patent made, we were basically looking everywhere we could high and low for anyone who had done something like this in the past, but we couldn't find it, and we were actually really shocked. It seems they are the first ever to think of cake batter in a can. Spray cake is essentially cake batter in a whipped cream style can. Um, you can spray it out. You spray it, it comes out pre-risen, so it makes in less time, it's microwavable, it makes more consistently than traditional cake batter. Spray the batter, pop in the microwave, and 60 seconds later... You got that nice sort of fluffy uh, texture to it, and it tastes just like cake. Please help yourself. That's really good. <laughs> it's good. Even better, spray cake started in John's class at Harvard. I had a final project I needed to do for the class. And our group wanted an excuse to eat a lot of delicious cake while working on this uh, final project. And so that's basically where I came up with the idea for spray cake. From class project to top prize at the Harvard Innovation Challenge, then winner of the Ad Club's branding challenge for nail communications when they hatched this as a way to sell the product. You can celebrate the future. Now this hit at Harvard is hopefully headed to store shelves and giving these students an education they never expected. I mean, it was definitely kind of surprising. It was one of those things where I took the class. It was a gen ed, you know, it was just kind of a fun way to get one of my science requirements, I thought, and you know, eat some during lab, but it turned out to actually be a really informative class, and now it's turned into a business, so I've got to say I kind of love the liberal arts thing. Now, the big question, the ingredients, they are the same, they tell me, as regular cake batter from a box, but no baking soda or powder because the can produces their own air bubbles, so it doesn't need it to rise. It is organic. The good news is they found a seller to sell it. Now they're just looking for a manufacturer to distribute it locally so they can keep it local. And it's what a great idea. And I'm with them when they said that they just assumed that somebody had thought of it before. That often happens with inventions where you think it's been done. So I want to know what you oh, think. Oh, look at this. So you got to try really? it. It's pretty good. I am skeptical, I will say. Yeah, it's Ooh, really it good. good. It's, it's delicious. It's quick. And you know what? You don't have to make a whole big box cake and leave it in your fridge. If you want just a cup of cake. Pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. I'm not sure about the frosting, but <laughs> the <laughs> well, cake itself is good. That's not theirs. Very good. Can All you right. take the next one? <laughs>